Hey everyone, it's Eric with shuckabuck.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about the types of Facebook ads that you can create. Um, this is a video three in this series. If you haven't watched the previous two videos and you're a beginner, um, I suggest watching those. Those are on my channel somewhere um, or somewhere on this page um, if you're watching it off of YouTube. Um, so there's a lot of different campaigns that you can actually create. Um, when I first started, there were only five or six. Um, and now it looks like there's about 15 here. Yes, 15. I can actually count. Um, so I'm going to go through each of these individually. I'm not going to go through all of them because I actually don't use all of them. And some of them need a little bit longer explanation. Some of them don't. So let's get right into it. Boosted post. Um, is a page post engagement ad PPE is what we call it in the uh, Facebook ad world um, what this does is it basically if you have a post on your page that um, you want all of your fans to see or you want other people other than your fans to see um, you can go this route because um, it'll boost the engagement of that post. Now you're going to be charged based on likes, comments, shares, clicks, um, anything that happens on that ad you're going to be charged for. Um, it's usually pretty cheap especially if your post is very engaging. I've had page post engagements for as little as two and three cents. Um, I've had them. I've had them lower than that, but um, that was in the past. Um, nowadays, two or three cents is a pretty good um, uh, post engagement. Um, I've seen them as high as 25, 30 cents per post engagement. Usually, those are the ones that I um, stop those ads because it's not usually worth um, worth the money for that. So, if you want to boost your post, that's a good way to do it. Um, under awareness again is promote your page promoting your page is basically trying to get page likes I actually don't use this a lot and I haven't used it for probably at least a year now um, just because the the um, value of a like is a lot lower than it used to be because of the organic reach on on, on Facebook on Facebook posts so let's say you have a thousand likes on your Facebook page in years past each post that you would um, publish on your page may get seen by you know 500 of your fans now it's more like 30 so um, it's just the way the algorithm works and it's just the way Facebook um, did it and um, over the past couple years they've been decreasing organic reach and there's a couple reasons for it one is they have a great ad product um, so don't get mad when you when you post an image and, so, and, and it doesn't get a lot of likes or doesn't get a lot of reach that's only because maybe it's just not as good of a post as your competitors posts so they're going to show your competitors more often in the newsfeed than than yours and also um, I lost my train of thought uh, <laughs> give me a second um, Basically, uh, what a page like campaign can do for you is obviously increase the page likes, but um, you can also retarget those people with an ad. So if you had a thousand people and you wanted 10,000 people liking your page, you can actually buy those um, and target people who actually are in your industry. And then in the future, you can actually promote directly to them and it will likely cost less than someone who's trying to um, directly um, uh, promote against your page target your page in their ad so um, that's page likes again I don't use it often um, reach people near your business basically this is for local businesses trying to get more business in the door um, you can reach people by zip code and city and all that kind of stuff in a radius around that um, Brand awareness base, I've never used this. I think it's for larger companies just trying to get a message out there, more like a commercial ad, just trying to get their brand in front of more people. Um, you can increase your reach. 
Um, this is something that's new, obviously, because I haven't even clicked on this before, and this came up. The new reach objective. Choose this objective if you'd like to show your ad to the largest audience for your budget. So that's something I have to test, um, but I'm probably not going to use it for quite some time just because I know other things um, work. So under consideration, there's um, a couple here that I like, um, actually three that I'm going to go through. Um, one is link clicks. So if I wanted to get traffic to my website, I could always um, send people through a link and you're going to get charged by um, link clicks instead of being charged by a like or a comment or share. Every time someone clicks on that and goes to your page, then you're going to have to pay Facebook. There's also um, getting installs of your app. I've never used it because I haven't uh, promoted any apps. Um, you can raise attendant, attendance at your event. So if you have an event on Facebook, um, you can actually promote it to people, maybe your uh, brewery, and you are having a, uh, a fundraiser or something like that, and you want people to attend event, an event, or maybe you're launching a new uh, beer and you're having a, um, a launch party for that you can actually um, target people in your area and get them to uh, say that they're going to that event through Facebook um, get video views is the one that I use the most right now it's extremely cheap you get paid per view I usually choose the option of, of paying per 10 second view so if someone sees the video and watches for at least 10 seconds, that's when I have to pay Facebook. And it's usually around three cents per view. I've had views for fractions of a penny, and I still do get those. Um, and it all depends on the virality um, of your video and how good it is and how many times people want to share it and all that kind of stuff. But it's definitely something that you should look into. Um, you can collect leads for your business. Basically, um, you can create a form that loads inside of Facebook pretty much instantly that says, hey, we need your, we want your name and your email address or phone number or whatever. Um, and you can actually collect leads that way. Um, I've used it, works well. And on the conversion side, basically conversions are, you know, increasing um, engagement or um, increasing leads, getting um, uh, purchases on your website. So um, I use the uh, website conversions quite a bit. Um, basically, you're going to get charged every time um, you get a conversion. And that conversion is set up inside the ad. So you can say that if you're selling a, um, a sprinkler system, I don't know why I thought about that. I'm, it's like December when I'm making this video and um, it's freezing cold outside. Um, but I wish the sprinklers were on in the golf courses right now. Um, anyway, um, if you are selling sprinklers and you wanted to increase sales of that, you can actually create a conversion saying that if someone reaches the payment page or the checkout page on my website, count that as a, conver as a conversion. So now instead of paying for clicks or likes, comments, or shares, you're actually paying when someone actually um, takes, value, takes action on your website. Hope that makes sense. Definitely take advantage of website conversion ads. Um, increase engagement in your app that's self-explanatory um, get people to claim an offer so you can uh, create offers on your Facebook page and like coupon codes and stuff like that um, and you can get people to claim those on Facebook and then they get an email sent to them after they claim it with the coupon code and everything like that um, and how to how to actually use it use that offer I've used it in the past and it's and it's very iffy as far as um, getting people to actually open their email to get the to get the offer. Maybe they changed it, but um, I'm guessing you can use it in your Facebook store if you have a Facebook store. But I do not. Um, promote a product catalog, you can do that. Um, uh, if you have a catalog of products on Facebook, you can promote that. 
uh, or you can get people to visit your stores, um, which is um, something that I haven't looked into at all. But uh, basically, you get you get charged when people go into your store on Facebook. So those are the types of ads that you can create, um, types of campaigns that you can create. If you have any questions about anything I went over, or if you just want to talk some golf, um, leave a comment below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. In the next video, I'm going to be going through um, some pixel stuff and some targeting stuff. So we're getting into the meat um, of this, uh, this short training. So we'll see you in the next video.